Hi, welcome to week four. This week we're going to be preparing for an exam, submitting our last project. Yay! Trying to figure out what the recursive functions are. Making sure we get to the concept of a toy and and put a number. I'm not looking forward to it being over. I got used to this crazy routine of waking up, being here every day at like nine, spending the whole day uh, in front of the computer trying to solve problems. The brain feels so wise. My plan is to soak it all in. I'm horrible at filming. I just make mistakes all the time. I can't do it anymore. I'm really, really tough. I'm tired. Difficult. Tears in my eyes. Harder. I just pushed my last project. I'm so tired, so extremely tired. There are so many incredible people doing this piscine. You want to make jokes and be part of things, but you feel like you're almost running around, rushing through these experiences because you need to find a way to be efficient with what you're doing. It must be very difficult to be saying goodbye. I would like to have been able to just give myself more time with each task to play around with it a bit. Coding is so much fun. I will be doing the playing around after the piscine. So sorry, Alex, this is a... Ah, this brain doesn't produce words. I am so sorry, Alex. <laughs> what I'm going to do for the next afternoon, try to prepare for the exam tomorrow as much as possible. The exam tomorrow is eight hours long from 10 till 6. The exercises are going to be um, more difficult than before. I'm petrified. I'm so, so stressed about this exam. What we're going to do now is a toy, put numbers, string comparison and all of that. I want to know these, this code so well that I can write it with my left hand and the right hand is going to be eating a sandwich. <laughs> Your fingers crossed. One more day. It is Magda's almost last day. How do you feel? Today is the last day. Tomorrow is the final exam. I am completely and utterly destroyed. I've uh, realized that I know nothing and I just see exclamation marks everywhere. There's a bunch of functions that have wonderful names like strlkat and strpni and all of that. That's it. A lot of numbers in this brain. What are you looking most forward to? In my life? Let's say the next days. I'm looking forward to the post piscine party tomorrow. This first sip of beer after an extremely long exam. Talking to everyone, not about code, but actually um, about their hometowns, favorite creatures, whatever. We will be sitting on our chairs and looking at the screen for eight hours trying to solve riddles. Anything else you take away from your time here? <laughs> Have I mentioned that it's been a humbling experience? It humbles you. It's a really humbling experience. Yes. I feel humbled. I'm also very humbled. What I take away from my time here is that learning is awesome. Learning uh, with others uh, is awesome. Code is awesome. Okay guys, there you have it. Magda is actually now a successful coder. Uh -huh. Congratulations Magda. <laughs> Only one exam to go. 12 hours before the exam and this is what's going on. Good luck everyone, I'm pretty sure you got this. Eight hours later. So far the entire experience on the piscine was really great. I loved every moment of it. I met so many wonderful people. I learned so many things. I've never coded in my life before, so it was such an amazing progress for me and so many victor small victories. The most difficult part, I would say, is keeping up with all the exercises we have to do. What makes that hard part uh, more fun is the fact that you really progress very fast. Audi. Yes, I've had some uh, coding experience before. I actually studied for software engineering back in my hometown. I think that the piscine is like a great experience because you don't have to think about failure. So I accepted failure 
uh, I used to be a perfectionist in school and I would really get really sad if I would fail like an exam because of course if you fail an exam you're not going to get a degree but here I just uh, accepted failure and I see it as a plus for me not uh, something that is like a, a bad thing for me the most difficult task for me in this PC was achieving my goal so if I would say like okay today I'm going to finish CO8 and I would never finish CO8 today but after one week I think that was the most uh, difficult part for me Audi. What have I learned other than coding? I guess one of the things that I needed to learn when I got here was time management and that has gotten significantly better. What would I have done differently? I would have eaten less chocolate, less sweets, have a more regular program within the piscine as well. Not forgetting to sleep is a really good tip, even with the conscious effort to it's okay and do it at your own speed. You still get whipped up into the whirlwind frenzy of the PC. I guess the idea of the PC is quite intimidating because basically you're signing yourself up for a month-long intensive test. You kind of have to set yourself aside, otherwise your self-value will be destroyed, broken, and you will end up crying. Uh, you'll probably cry anyway, but potentially in a good way. It's, it is very difficult uh, and it should not be taken without really clearing your schedule entirely, but it's extremely worthwhile because when you're really genuinely committing a particular uh, bunch of time to do a very specifically oriented thing, it's amazing what you can learn. Audi. Moments later. How did you like your piscine experience? It was amazing. I'm so sad it's over actually. I don't know how to live tomorrow. <laughs> Audi. There we go. <laughs> the four weeks have passed and it's been a hell of a journey. I definitely feel like I've learned everything that I wanted to learn and way more. As someone who's seemingly confident, I felt quite experienced and resistant to failure. I was stressed and scared so much. Where did I fail? I failed my first exam, I failed my second exam, struggled horrendously with the very first project, Shell 00, and I think I submitted it like six times before it got accepted. In the first two weeks, I was doing completely wrong things, like pushing myself to submit as many projects as possible rather than sitting down and understanding the code. I kept on trying to submit the first exercise, uh, many, many, many times without compiling properly. It is frozen a lot. Had I compiled properly, <laughs> I would have seen that there's a very, very tiny basic mistake that's holding me um, away from progressing. I cried, I screamed. <laughs> there were so many moments where I just felt like, nah, can't do it anymore. <laughs> the one thing where I feel like I didn't fail is I didn't give up. That's because of um, all of these amazing humans around. And I hope that all of you who are about to do your PC at 42 Berlin or who have done it already, were at least in 50% as held and supported as um, I felt during my time here. Right before the PC, someone told me, be careful, you might love it. And I did love it. I did love the code and I hope a lot of you will love it too.